Joseph Nilo uh, representing FX Factory, and I think this has to do with plugins to do with video editing. It Am does. I right? It does. Yes, it does. So uh, FX Factory is a uh, suite of visual effects plugins for Final Cut Pro, and that's why we're here tonight. Um, but it also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. So it's cross-host, cross-platform uh, visual effects plugins. What is that? That is everything. It's massive. There's over a thousand effects, and um, that includes everything from uh, uh, looks, color, uh, color keying, um, titles, uh, photo animation, transitions. You know everything that uh, that might be built into Final Cut or Premiere Pro, and then more because they have all these independent developers. So, a thousand effects by FX Factory and by independent developers. So I'm kind of confused how that would one would buy that. How is Do you buy them a la carte or you pay one fee for a thousand or how's that work? No, it's simple and this is a problem I used to run into uh, early on before FX, FX Factory was around is you used to have to buy giant suites of plugins, drop 1500 bucks on something and FX Factory you just download the application um, and it's free, it's a free download. So everything loads into all of your hosts, like Final Cut Pro 10. You can try it and then buy only what you want. Um, there's different pricing, Every, everything from, from free, really great effects that you'll start using, uh, to things starting at $29, $49, all the way up to some really sophisticated visual effects. They suck you in with some free stuff too. Yeah, that's yeah. good, that's a, that's a good model, it yeah, works, yeah, yeah. right? But when you're a working editor, that's the best thing in the world because when you just, when you need something, you need something now. Like, I'm cutting, I need this effect, I find it in the application, I like it, I click buy, it's like an app store, and then there it is. I mean, it's that simple. Remember driving to the store and buying discs? What are discs? Uh, what is oh, that? Pretending what are you're these too discs young. in which you, uh, like, a, like, a zip, like a zip disc? No, like a, okay. No. All right, so, so can you demo something for us yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, uh, part of my presentation, like this, yeah, I know, so. this is cool. Part of my presentation I'll be doing, um, tomorrow at the FCP Works is showing off a lot of these categories of, of plugins. So let's say... This is audio and video, so I'll uh, if, try to describe what you're seeing. Sure, gotcha. Okay, understandable. Um, let me go to the beginning here. I don't like... Yeah, We're I'm in Final Cut Pro right, 10 yes, right now. in Final Cut Pro. Um, stand by. Let me go... I don't have a home key on this, on this keyboard, so... Uh, um, Right here we have some of those photo animation uh, tools. This is called um, Whoosh, where it's a generator where you load the, uh, the f a series of photos in and it do automatically does the animation for you. Uh, kind of in 3D, there's a drop shadow and it, these things whoosh through. Um, uh, here's Pan and Zoom, which is a uh, more sophisticated Ken Burns effect, like what's built into Final Cut Pro, but it just gives you a lot more uh, leeway and more motion. Granular control? Yes. Uh, Do, you uh, full control and process. Do you have full control over those uh, motions? Yes. Yeah, so if you go into the, um, the effect itself, it's a generator. Um, you load the images up, and then um, if you hit this setup button, it gives you the familiar kind of Ken Burns look, the step one a little guide saying here's where the motion's going to go in step two. So, uh, you know, again, these are things that if you hand animated them, they would take you a long time to do. Uh, but it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, if I go back to the beginning here, my, what's close to my heart are some of the color correction plugins because I, I do work like that. So here's some looks. This is called Moods, which gives you a, a GUI on screen to do color correction and then you turn it off when you're ready for final output. Um, Right now, what we're seeing is uh, the little kid walking around on the screen, but then there's uh, six uh, color wheels, and it looks like you just grab different parts of the screen to change the color, sure. that color. You can turn on a help card here that shows you what you're doing. So here I am I can control the brightness, uh, gamma exposure. Here I'm doing a, a traditional three-way color correction. Here's my darks. Here's my mid-tones. I can color highlights and whatnot. And then when you're done, you just turn off this GUI and you output. Um, it's very intuitive. In fact, this is built, this is really nice at full screen because you're just, you're in the footage. You're not being encumbered. Encumbered? Is that the right word? By the UI, you know? You're not stepping away to some sliders. It's just sort of right on top. You're right there. So th it's nice. And again, it's, you don't have to leave and go to a more sophisticated uh, uh, suite like DaVinci Resolve to do color correction. You can do really cool stuff right in here. Um, this is a Lux plugin. It's by Luca. 
Luca does a lot of stuff that are like stylization looks, uh, uh, flickers and lighting and whatnot. The Instagramming of video. It's, it, that's exactly what it is. But, you know, it's a hip look. Everybody These kids today. These kids that's today. That's the second time I've said that in an interview today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, here we have some further. This is, uh, for it, those who aren't seeing the picture, this is where I live in beautiful western North Carolina. But, um, what I'm showing is a color correction plugin called Natris Curves. That, just, that gives you a curve control um, on screen. Uh, that's just um, amazing and very easy to use. When you're shooting these high-end footage, like from RED camera, it's usually flat, which looks like this, and your client doesn't want to see that. Um, so you add the curves effect, give it its contrast, and then turn that off and, and output it. So when he's saying the curve is on screen, it's not a separate little window, it just splatted the curve right on yeah. top of the image and that's really immersive. It's like, cool, yeah, like in other programs like After Effects or, or Photoshop, if there's a curve, it's elsewhere. Uh, I mean, this is right on top and I like that. And these are all just little things you can grab um, and even animate if you want to, because that's just a data point. So, um, so I, it's, I don't know how many more of these you want to <laughs> see. I mean, there's like, it, there's over a thousand effects um, uh, within hundreds of plugins, so there's different presets and things like that. Um, this is really cool. So uh, you're a Final Cut Pro 10 user. You, you go to fxfactory.com, download the software, and you can free. start looking at it and, yeah. and playing with the different uh, plugins that are free, and then see which ones you want to buy. That's that's as simple as it is. So uh, it, they just install inside Final Cut. Yeah. Yes, and Motion and After Effects and Premiere Pro. So. And you can bounce back and forth. There's uh, definitely overlap between, if you're an editor like me that has to use different applications, they're all there. Oh, that's very, very cool. All right, thank you very much, Joseph. Appreciate your time. Thank you.